Hey YouTube, so today I want to share with you my shed build. This is a solar shed that I built with Reno G equipment. I got Reno G solar system equipment and I'll show you my setup. Alright, so I'm gonna start with the solar panels. I got three solar panels on this side and I got three solar panels on this side uh, they are all 100 watt solar panels they're wired in parallel As you can see there's uh, uh, two three ways here one is for the positive wires and the other one is for the negatives so these three panels become two actually become one sorry and they go inside same thing with this I got these three solar panels. This these three ways for the positive and these three ways for the negative. So these three panels become one. And these three panels become one. And they go into the shed. Now let's go inside and I'll show you the setup. Alright, so as I mentioned, the wires come in here. Alright, so I got positive and negative from, from three panels. And then I got positive and negative from the other three panels. So these six panels become two in here. And then the wires come down here. There's another Y split right here. And then the two the two uh, wires or the four wires let's say become one okay right here there's a, a fuse uh, from the uh, from the solar panels for the solar panels on the positive cable and that's a that's an 80 amp fuse right here and the cable keeps coming down into the Reno G rubber controller this is a 40 amp, 40 amp MPTT, and from there, see the, the panel wire comes in here, and then this is the load wire, that's where I power my 12 volts equipment, 12 volt accessories, that's where I power those lights too, these are 12 volt lighting, but from here to the battery, these wires go to the battery, see there's a 40 amp fuse on the positive wire that goes to the battery and we got the shunt here to monitor the battery we got the monitor battery monitor here all right so that keeps going down here into the battery this is a 200 amp hour battery AGM battery 200 amp hour and from there it goes up it goes up to there's a fuse and there's a circuit breaker into the inverter this inverter is 3000 watts okay 3000 watts and from Renergy as well as you can see it's on right now if I turn it off okay I'll turn it back on that's when it's running and I have it connected directly to the hard wire I have it hard wired you got three more plugs over here but I decided to do hard wired on the manual the manual says that you should not mount the inverter like this you have to mount it vertical no I'm oh, sorry you have to mount it horizontal not vertical like this because the breeze can go, uh, go in the fan into the inverter and cause damage but in my case I don't have a lot of debris or dust or anything so I'm okay okay so it's running right now it's pumping 120 volts going up and down into the breaker box I got a breaker box I, I have 
two breakers already attached to. All right, so one breaker goes down here into this outlet. Okay, this outlet is on, and this outlet is where I have attached to this plug here, this GAN connector here. That's where I uh, charge all my equipment, my battery power equipment. You can see I can turn it on, and everything turns on, and everything turns on. Okay. And on the other plug, I have uh, the charger for my e bike. See, the e bike is on and it's charging. Well, it's already charged, but that's what I use the solar system for to charge my e bike. And Reno G is the brand that I use. So, take a better look. So that's coming from the solar panels coming down here into the controller okay and then from the controller with a fuse in uh, the shunt for the battery monitor okay this is a 12 volt load switches this is for the uh, lights you can see 12 volt lighting this is the load of 12 volt load that goes into here and everything expands so the shunt to the battery and then from the battery up into the fuse into that breaker and into the inverter 3000 watts and comes out 120 volts into the breaker box okay into this outlet and this one is going on an outside outlet this one is outside all right so that's my energy setup for everything charging my tools charging my e-bike and emergency power thank you for watching